This is what happened in the cryptocurrency world this week. Crypto exchange Binance has completed the integration of Bitcoin Lightning Network for deposits and withdrawals activities. National Australia Bank is the latest bank to announce blocks on certain cryptocurrency exchanges, citing the high risk of scams. SEC accepts BlackRock's Bitcoin Spot ETF application for review, a move that signals the regulatory body's intent to take the application seriously. Top global crypto exchange Binance has reportedly axed more than 1,000 employees in recent weeks. Bankrupt Celsius transfers $24 million worth of altcoins to FalconX and OKX to reportedly liquidate the digital assets for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ripple eyes U.S. bank partnerships following SEC victory as XRP volume surpasses Bitcoin. Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, will privately meet with Democrats from the House of Representatives to discuss crypto regulation this Wednesday. Kathy Wood's ARK Invest offloads over $88 million worth of Coinbase's coin shares in two weeks. Binance, the global and top cryptocurrency exchange, has terminated its year-long sponsorship agreement with the Argentine Football Association. SEC accepts Valkyrie Bitcoin ETF proposal for official review. This is the second application after BlackRock to be accepted by the regulator. Chainlink launches cross-chain protocol, bridging blockchain to TradFi. Crypto exchange Binance has reportedly cut employee benefits effective June 19th, citing a declining profit margin. New York-based Nasdaq Stock Exchange has decided to postpone its crypto custody plans, citing shifting business and regulatory environment. XRP outperforms the crypto market as hopes of settlement with the SEC and Metaverse investment boosts buyer sentiments. Polygon announces plans for a decentralized governance framework for Polygon 2.0, aiming for more decentralized control over its ecosystem. Binance burns over $480 million worth of BNB in 24th quarterly burn. The Australian Financial Services Regulator has cancelled the license of FTX Australia, the local unit of the bankrupt crypto exchange. Celsius Network dumps various altcoins on exchanges including Link, BNB, and ZRX. U.S. Federal Reserve officially launches new instant payment service, FedNow. Qualm Securities has become the first Hong Kong securities firm to launch crypto trading. U.S. Justice Department is to double its crypto team to target ransomware crimes. U.S. prosecutors accuse FTX co-founder Sam Bankman-Fried of using private documents to discredit potential witness. McDonald's Hong Kong has joined the likes of Adidas, Coca-Cola, Gucci, and other global brands with launch of its own metaverse. Coinbase stops its lending product Coinbase Borrow. Users need to repay their loans before November 20th. House Republicans introduce bill that aims to bring regulatory clarity to crypto. On-chain data confirms that U.S. government has sold another 8,200 Bitcoin. Follow CryptoHaste for daily crypto updates. Thank you for watching.